Yes. So this is just one of the pitches that have been turned over that will be turned over today to the government of Liberia and the Liberia Football Association. Later on this week, we will be in the Canon City, Grand Bassett County, where the Doris Williams Post pitch has been transformed into a modern stadium with artificial top. So this is the SKD practice pitch turned over to the Liberia Football Association by Greenfield. The company contracted to do the other feature tough year so in less than three years Mustafa Raji has implemented some of his deliverables by giving Liberia three new pitches with other feature tough before then Liberia had the ATS the stadium in Kakata and Barrage on controller where the only page with artificial tough. So now we have Alix 5 in Liberia 3 on the Mustafa Raji administration. And so we are still here football development at its best by the Liberia Football Association. So this will be turned over today, second turning over in less than five hours so there you go you can see part of view of the stadium here mini stadium at the summer kind of sports complex this was the practice pitch for other sporting discipline but now it has been transformed and owned by the Libera Football Association with artificial turf there you go this is the artificial turf and the Ministry of Youth and Sports has been actually instrumental in awarding this and the Canada City will have one two and I'm told it will be taking place later this week before the weekend and so now the first kick on this pitch will be taken by the former Mari Baru goalkeeper and former Lone Star goalkeeper D. Siga Wazin. So that's the first kick on this pitch has been taken by so yes uh, in three months time FIFA will send an independent uh, testing institute they will come and do tests on the pitch they will check the playing characteristics if they meet with the FIFA quality yeah, so um, the fear is a uh, FIFA accredited uh, it will be FIFA accredited after the test after the test because uh, it's built according to FIFA standards. So how long was the lifespan of this? The term we supply has a warranty of eight years. Yeah, but the eight years have explained to the 
LFA, it goes with some conditions. There is maintenance required. So if you don't maintain the fee, you cannot uh, obtain your warranty if there are any defects. When you say maintenance, what specifically are you talking about? Will it be with the aid of green fuels and FIFA to help Labira in maintaining this stuff? We have provided a total maintenance manual uh, to the to LFA, and we have explained the maintenance, uh, giving some maintenance training to uh, members sent by the LFA as we requested. So they know everything about the artificial turf, and we have explained to them as much as possible. And we have given the manual to study, to read, to understand how maintenance of the artificial turf is, is needed. How has so it been for you working in Liberia over the past time? Uh, this is my first uh, project in Liberia, but this is uh, my 150th beach I'm constructing. Around Africa? And the whole world. Okay. How long did it take you to complete this project? We have used uh, four months in total to construct uh, Tusa Field, Eskele and Ikana Field. And actually we could use less but we had uh, difficulties with the rain and we had to wait. But in total we used four months for the three projects. Estimatedly in cents and dollars, what do you think this will cost? Well, uh, it, uh, a, a football pitch will cost from half a million to, to two, three million dollars. So uh, it's always between that range, but also depending on what you accompany the football pitch with. For example, in Tusa, we have a flood lighting, we have a flood lighting, we have more catalytic in Tusa. So it all depends on, on those uh, accessories to the pitch that make up the total price. So it's varying from at least half a million uh, dollars to so the three the three uh, pitches that you have worked on, the cattle cable, the total probably? The total what price? Yeah. I just told you that a pitch varies from around half a million to a two or a million mm -hmm. half uh, uh, you, uh, dollar. So you can estimate it's that amount. Uh, it's difficult to, for me to tell you exactly how much. But if you need to know more details, maybe you contact me later, I can give exactly the total price. Uh, I just want to take it back a little, I'm sorry, but uh, you talk about maintenance, you talk about the manual being provided, and you did on tutorials. So are you confident after uh, those tutorials, uh, the people uh, will be charged with the responsibility to get a good page, they will do a good job? I hope they will do a good job because the LFA sent already technicians that have uh, free experience. So as we understood, these technicians have taken some training already in Senegal for maintaining artificial turf. So with the knowledge we have given them, we, I think they will do it. And I have emphasized in my handover speech that maintenance is very, very important. We had an experience working in Togo and uh, being in similar turf as well. What's the difference when you compare the work done in Togo and that of Liberia? Well, uh, every project, even if they are on the two locations, every project is different. <coughs> even if we do another pitch uh, 200 meters away now, it's, it will be different from this one. There are always projects with challenges that you have to solve. So, the Africa is almost similar or the same. It's either raining or not raining. It's either you get materials easily or not getting materials easily. So I would say it's, it, 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 and if you don't have challenges, then you don't have a project to solve. So I can't, it, it's more or less similar project. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. 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 I guess food in the Can tell me something about the huh? president. Yeah, I just about to ask. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you. Okay. Maybe we can, finally, from this, finally from this end, I mean, you've been here. Uh, like you mentioned, four months, uh, some, some time. How does it feel like working with the football association, the support throughout the process? I will personally say uh, LFA uh, is very, or have been very, very cooperative with this project. Uh, let me just take a simple example. In other countries, when we get a project like this, the people of the federation, they don't even know what is going on. Sometimes you tell them you're finished and they're surprised. Hey, where? What do you do? But uh, the president, Mr. Mustafa Raji, he has been on these speeches almost on a weekly basis. That means he has followed up from step to step how we have been doing the work and he, gets, he has made sure that the quality is there. 
even though we're not going to cheat on the quality also, but I want to say Mr. Mustafa Raji is the man, he is the man for this uh, Liberia Global Center administration. I will say personally, I really appreciate his hard work. He did a lot. He has brought three pitches in a short time and I wish him all the best and I know he's going to do more. I'm saying because I have other personal discussions with him to I try to understand his intention and I want to ask Liberia and the population and you to stand behind him and think if you do that, you are not making a mistake. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Minister, so we will speak briefly with uh, the Minister of Sports and later with the President in Liberia Football Center. Uh, Minister, we literally right here back here uh, the practice pitch at the Santa Fe Sports Sports Campus. How does that make you feel now the pressure to the Well, uh, <coughs> I am. I feel great. I'm excited uh, because as a um, young football player at the time coming up in the 80s, uh, this field used to be the proudest ground for the national team of which I was a part of. And as a goalkeeper for my debut, I also used it for that time to practice. And uh, coming back after 18 years in the United States, and seeing the condition this field was in. And that's why when LFA approached me, Mr. Mustafa Raji approached me uh, to transform the field, I did not hesitate. I immediately signed a 25 years contract as my delivery fee firm to turn the facility over to LFA. And so I'm excited, I'm happy. But what I also want to say, it doesn't require a record scientist to see a visionary leader. Look, the short term he's been president of LFA. Look at the transformation he's brought to football. So I'm proud of the work Mustafa and his team have done to transform football. And uh, we pray that we continue to support him so that he do more things for our country and honor this regime. Because my you, this regime is on this regime that uh, these things are taking place. Mm -hmm. All because of the kind of a cordiality we have established with Mr. Mr. Raji and the president's own involvement with FIFA, mm -hmm. Infantino. You all know that. He has a very good contact. He has been adding his voice to a lot of the good things you see happening here today. So I'm a happy man and I hope that uh, we have more mini pitches before his tenure expired. And I will openly say that uh, I support his re-election. Uh, he will get my fullest support. Anybody who is attempting to contest a Minister Musa Baraji, well, you have an uphill battle because we cannot argue against success. We must continue to promote success. He's a successful president. He's been a lot for the country. Always and Honorable Minister, we know in the development of football, these facilities are uh, well needed. How far the government, this government of President Weir, that you had as Minister of Sports, prepared to go with the FA in giving them more facilities or more grounds so that these pitches can be built? I ask this question because more than a year ago, Pong County and have over the over the past time refused to give their pitch to be turned into a modern facility of such. The sky is a limit when it comes to our support to the LFA headed by Mr. Musa Faraji. He will tell you all of the things that come to this country the LFA brings in. We've given the government giving them duty free privilege and we continue to do that. Uh, I spoke a few minutes ago with uh, Representative Melvin Cole of Bond County. He has assured me that uh, he's instructed the superintendent uh, or the caucus has instructed the superintendent to sign the contract. And I hope they will do it this week because we don't have time. Uh, Trial region superintendent, I'm not getting up, but uh, I'm confident that they will do it because they don't want us to take the, the opportunity from the people of Bond County. So I'm hoping that I will myself will get involved uh, like I got involved with my own county, Grand Basso, and there was no problem. 
getting this fee we are on today from me, it was not a problem. So we continue to do our best. Whatever the FA, I know the next area will be Nima County, we ensure that that will not be a problem. So we, we, we will continue to support the LFA. In fact, today I announced to you, all, we want to extend the field uh, at Tusa. Yeah. And I told them to find out why it will cost, and the government will come to help them to purchase that part of the thing. Because that's our part of our job, to support the federation that needs to be good. And with the administration, we have no plan. We will tell you, our relationship is cordial. Today, you see the SKD sports page is being used by LFA League. And I've told Mustafa over and over again, we need to put a tough on our SKD. And if FIFA say that we need to turn the fee the LFA to do that, I'm prepared to do it. I'm prepared to do it because our football should be run by the, by the, by the Federation. They should control the facility. I know our football is wrong. In the past, it was not the case because the FA at the time, they were not transparent to the government of Liberia. This is not the case today. And we have no reason not to support everything he's doing. We continue to support him. Mr. Minister, you talk about the government of Liberia full support to Liberia Football Association. And one would say the budget for football is very low and it cannot even cater to a national team game. So in that light, how do we intend supporting football when our national team budget is very low? The national team has not forfeited any game because of the budget. But that budget cannot really... Has the national team forfeited any game because they had a low budget? But do you think the budget can develop football our national team? That well, budget, there is it thing, enough? There is one thing when you talk about the national team, and there's another thing in terms of football development. So let's be clear on that. Despite the amount in our budget for the national team, the government of Liberia has not forfeited any game because of money. So that's an issue. Now, I think the issue of discussion is sports development. Mm -hmm. What is it we can do to enhance the work LFA is doing? Yes, we need to do more. And that is why I said one of the cardinal things we have to tell you is the government has been granted duty free privilege for everything to be in this country. That is good. But we need to do more, and we hope we can do more. But we all know the budget space we're working within. We're going to take budget space. So for now, whatever we can do within our power to enhance their efforts, we will continue to do. Do you, think the, doing more. Do you think the budget needs to be increased for football development? Well, there are two things we can do, and I've been a strong advocate at talking to my colleagues. <coughs> One, yes, we need to look at the budget increase it for sport development, and we are youth development. But in the absence of that, I have been advocating uh, something of an excess tax on alcoholic beverage or cigarette uh, to see how we can have a sports development task, tax that will help develop sport in Liberia. We can even decide to say <clears throat> that put 10 cents or 5 cents on the bank of rest too. And you know, these are discussions, proposals I've been discussing with my colleague to see where we can meet. And the Minister of Finance has been open to the discussion. The LRA board has been open to the discussion. We just have to continue with the discussion and see where we can meet. But I think having a sport development tax will be a way to alleviate the financial state when it comes to sports development in Liberia. Because that will be money coming in every time that item is purchased by a consumer. Yes, yeah, some will pass the tax burden, but we don't want to burden our, our poor people. So looking at some of the alcoholic beverages or cigarette, and you know, like you can afford to smoke, you can afford to drink. So if you want to smoke or drink, then you can take the burden with ask 10 cents or 25 cents. So I think you guys in the fourth estate, number four estate, you help us with the advocacy. Let there be a sports development tax in this country so that we can get transformation, not just for, for football, but we need transformation for basketball. We need good gymnasium for basketball. State of the art gym, uh, gymnasium. We need facilities as well for the handball, our volleyball people. So we're not just a ministry for only football. We say we are a sports ministry. It will cater to all discipline, boxing, athletics, everything we will have the fun to do that. So I think the sports development task can help us. So you guys in the media, let us join this campaign and let's talk about this post development tax to see how better we can make some money. Yeah, Minister, Minister, Minister uh, uh, you said you're going to support uh, President Raji's uh, re election. Absolutely. Are you, are you going to announce that to His Excellency, the P uh, Chief Patron of Sports, President Weah? Oh, of course. Uh, I support Mr. Raji to be President of LFA, and I would like the President to know that. That's my view, and that's where I stand. 
I see no reason why he should be challenged. But of course, we're in a democracy, and everyone has a free will to contest against anybody. Sure. But what I've seen for the last two years, he's been in leadership. Uh, it gave me hope that we need to support him and buttress his efforts. We don't need to bring him down. Let's work together. He's, he's not a perfect person. We are all not perfect. But wherever his shortcomings are, let's work together as a team to prop him up. Let's give him the support. And I stand with Mr. 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 Raji today. I stand with him tomorrow. I stand with him forever. He has a vision for this country. I've seen it myself. And I'm proud of the work. Him, Mr. Mustafa Raji, and his team are doing because he does one person. He's not doing it alone. He's working with a group of people who also give him that credit to. Mr. Nanda, you are building the infrastructure. What message to the players? Well, uh, I will encourage our players to take advantage of the field. Like the president always said that uh, he Liberia produced so far the only Ballon d'Or from the ball headed Anthony Tottenham City. We did not have turf. We are just one field. Today, we have more than one. We have turf. So I think our players will take advantage of this facility and develop their talent and make sure that we can produce more Ballon d'Or coming from Liberia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a so pleasure. we switch to the president of the Liberia Football Association. Mr. President, uh, welcome and uh, nice to have you. I mean, thank you. Uh, the second of uh, I think three pages. Yeah, thank from you very much. Chief, how do you feel? Well, good. And thanks to uh, members of the executive committee and uh, members of Congress who approve uh, this, these projects. I think uh, we are getting to a place where we create more infrastructure, more facilities for our teams and our clubs, young people around to be able to play football. I mean, it's the first stage of uh, our football development program, as promised uh, in our platform. So I'm very happy that FIFA could partner with us and give us all of the support to uh, construct these three uh, pitches. Special thanks to the Minister of Sports who I mean, we're standing here to that SKD practice pitch with no objection, provided us uh, this facility on the lease and uh, work with the county authorities of uh, Grand Bassa County to ensure that they provide us uh, the land uh, for 25 years lease as per FIFA uh, regulation. So I'm happy uh, that uh, our young ones, clubs that are based in Pinsville, will have the opportunity to play home games here and generate additional funds to, to run their team. So I'm, I'm very, very happy. Mr. Roger, I'm sorry, but I have two concerns. Firstly, the two subfield, your vice president for operation, Mr. Wilmot Smith, was in charge of that project. Um, how satisfied are you with the level of work he, he done to get that place complete? And then secondly, maintenance has been a problem. We heard the head of this you know, construction team say over and over that FIFA has too much more interest in how maintain this pitch will be. How far are you prepared to go to make sure that those objectives are met. Well, we have a team and definitely will be able to maintain it. Uh, like he stated, thanks again to the Ministry of Youth and Sports. We had an opportunity to send uh, one of our workers to China for training on stadium management. Uh, he came back. Uh, he has been working with a series of other contractors uh, in, engaged with the turf construction at the uh, ATS, uh, Doris Williams, I mean, Nesset Vito Stadium. So he, he has the expertise and work along with uh, the current Greenfield team. So. We will be able to definitely maintain the facility because it's important for for us for the LFA and we want it to be a la lasting uh, a project. Uh, it's not something that we just want to construct and abandon because we're going to be using it for all of our leagues. With regards to the uh, the work standard, yes, it's okay, it's fine in terms of the playing pitch. Uh, there are a couple of issues uh, that we raise with the uh, uh, the contractors. They're going to ensure that uh, they put the lightning protection and other uh, that we raise during the uh, inspection tour. The mini stadium is going on well, and we're hoping that uh, everything is finished. So the work is okay, and uh, we're moving forward. Mr. President, yes. a few minutes ago, the Minister of Even Sports pledged uh, his re your re-election bid is support fulliest. What's the response? Well, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy that uh, the government is uh, satisfied with uh, the work of our administration. We took over uh, some two and a half uh, years ago, and uh, with the support of uh, government, uh, the support of you, uh, and the fans out there, players, our members of the executive committee, and most importantly, the staff of the LFA. I mean, they brought us here, they've made us to achieve this. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that uh, the, the minister said that, uh, I mean, he'll give us all this full support uh, in the next election. We want to continue 
uh, with the work that we promised uh, Liberians. Uh, there's more for us to do. We've not completed our work. Uh, it got impacted by restriction, impacted by COVID-19. And I think we should be given a chance and opportunity to do more for Liberia. Mr. 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 President, are there plans uh, to have floor lights here? Like what is going on at Tushar? Certainly, but uh, dependent on the, um, the members of Congress, because uh, these projects are done in phases. The executive committee members uh, are very much excited and they want us to have uh, floor lights here in Ingram Bassa County. This is something that we're going to review and put before members of Congress for the approval. Once they approve it, we're going to roll out with the project. So uh, we don't implement this project without uh, the involvement uh, of the decision, the key decision makers uh, who are members of, uh, of Congress, the clubs. How soon do we expect league games to be played at the two venues? Well, we have to start using the facility, uh, as mentioned by Greenfield. So after the commissioner of Tusafi on Friday, I mean, Friday is going to be the first day because there's going to be a game with our U15 team, our new U15 team, because as part of our football development program, our U15 team will be there to showcase and show to Liberians uh, what they've been doing and what the LFA has been doing over the period. And then uh, the chief pitcher of sport will lead. Uh, we are all star against uh, the Ajibo case and uh, I think Angels, the veterans, to play uh, on the two side pitch. And thereafter, we have some women's football games and first division games on the facility. We have to utilize it to prepare it for the inspection of uh, the FIFA team that will be coming to validate uh, and, and fully accept the, the pitches. I'll follow up to Julia's question. I mean, the minister, uh, you know, in terms of re election, you've been doing tremendously well along with your team. Uh, the minister also spoke of you see no reason why you should be challenged. Uh, so my concern is, are you aware of, you know, maybe any you know, challenges when it comes to the LFA position? And two, you already declared your bill to contest. And did you consult your team, which is also doing extremely well along with you? Well, it's, it's a team effort. Uh, credit doesn't go to only me. We work as a team. Uh, we. I mean, if, if you're listening to all of my interviews, I've stated it clearly uh, that we work together as a team and we made decision together to come here. Again, uh, uh, thanks to the minister and I announced to the general public that uh, I'm interested in continuing uh, my mandate, uh, but it's also left with uh, those that are out there. I mean, this position is not owned by me. Uh, it's not owned by anyone special. Each and every Liberian uh, have a right to contest for the post of uh, president, vice president, as a member of the executive committee. But I believe we've, we've done well over the short period uh, with all of the restrictions and uh, 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 situations we had uh, coming our way. And we think that uh, we should be giving uh, the opportunity to continue and complete what we started. We as a team, the entire executive committee, like we saw in the uh, case of Musa Berete, uh, 2014, uh, Mr. what we had just spoke, I don't know how more questions you want me to uh, define. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, you spoke yeah. about uh, a team coming in from FIFA to do an inspection of that timeline on the Well, what, what happened again is uh, we what we need to look at first is that uh, uh, for the pitches, uh, there are different kind of processes, uh, process involved. Uh, I heard someone ask for the, the overall cost is 1.4 million for the three pitches, including the lights and the, the test. So now, uh, after uh, this phase, uh, there's a test institute that's going to be uh, hired by FIFA, not the LFA, because they are responsible for the tender. Now they put the tender out there, the test institute will apply. The ones that wins the bait will be assigned and come to Liberia to do the testing after three months to validate the pitch. If they are not satisfied in terms of uh, the, the quality or the installation, then they're going to raise it with the contractor to come back and see if they can fix it. Any news from Grand Bassett County? Grand Barca County will be going there on Tuesday uh, to, ha to get the, the, the field turned over and then uh, we'll arrange again because our chief patron has very, very been involved uh, with this uh, entire uh, infrastructure project to ensure that we create playing facilities for, for the young ones and we love for, his, uh, for him to be involved in terms of the, the full commissioning where the first match will be played. So it's going to be happening at Tusa Pitch, he has committed and, and confirmed it. Uh, we'll be looking at the SKD pitch and also Grand Barca County. And lastly for me, for a year plus, you've been frustrated for lack of better work uh, over the issue of bunk on the pitch uh, being turned over to the LFA. The minister just spoke and he gave you assurance that you will get that soon. How excited are you? Well, I'm happy. Football uh, is for all. Uh, if you look at our platform, it says football for all. We want to take football all around. We want to give each and everyone the opportunity with the little we have as the LFA. We don't have so much money, two, two million for projects, but we need to ensure that we maximize the, the use of the funds so that each and everyone can feel I mean, the taste of the library football.
Association. As part of our football development uh, agenda, yesterday we commenced the U15 National League for the first time in the history of Liberian football. We want to extend to all of those places. So it's not just about Bond County, Nima County, or Mosulado County. Grand G, the River G, Maryland County, Grand Cru County also have the opportunity for us to touch them, whether it's with a tough or some of our youth program or competitions that we have to uh, uh, keep going. Finally, Mr. President, I mean, we have uh, enough space to add your plans to be able to increase the city to pass it on. Certainly, but it's, 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 it's uh, on a step by step basis. Today, the key is about having a playing pitch. We have a dress room, cheese room, and a medical facility. We want to also look at how we can go to Bond County and create the same uh, uh, opportunity for them. Go to Nima County, do that, and then we we'll start coming back. If we have more money, definitely, like we are using the money for football, football, we're definitely investing. Thank you, Mr.